what is going on guys here so now in this video i'm going to teach you how to fix that black screen when you're trying to broadcast or record with open broadcaster software which is obs now you're most probably getting a black screen if you're on a laptop and you have integrated and dedicated a dedicated video card so now i found that the reason why it doesn't record sometimes or you get a black screen is because you're most probably trying to record on the dedicated video now that won't work, especially with a monitor capture. Now I'm not sure why that is. Hopefully OBS will fix that or I have, I'm just gonna say I have no idea why that happens. I just know that this is my way around it. So go ahead, open up your settings within OBS. So click on settings all the way at the top there and settings in the settings top right here, click on settings. Go ahead into video on the side there on the left side right here on the tab. Make sure by video adapter you're selected your integrated video. You don't want to select your dedicated. My NVIDIA GeForce GTX 960M is my dedicated. I don't want to use that. I want to use my, you want to use your Intel or whichever integrated video that you have. So that is the Intel R HD Graphics 530. Again, integrated, you want to select your integrated video. Click on apply then OK. Now once that's done, what you want to do next is if you do have NVIDIA, most probably I'm assuming that you do because I've tried this on a different laptop, but it did have Windows 7. So I'm not sure, maybe this is a Windows 10 thing, I don't know. But if you could, go ahead and select your, go ahead and open up your NVIDIA GeForce Experience. Now just click on that and click on Open NVIDIA Control Panel. And I'm just going to wait for that to open up. If you don't see it there in the corner, just type in, go to your start menu and type in N NVIDIA and click on the control panel. So now once you're in there, click on manage 3D settings, go into program settings. Now once you're in program settings right here, go ahead and select a program to customize. So what you want to do is look for open broadcaster software. So click on open broadcaster software or press O if you need to find it. So open broadcaster software and what you want to do by number two right here underneath, go ahead and click on integrated graphics. Once you're done, click apply and then close it. So again, select for open broadcaster software. You want to click on integrated graphics, click on apply, close this once you're done. Now I'm just going to click no because I'm recording right now. Now, once you're done that, go ahead and close up OBS. So because I'm recording, obviously, I'm not going to close my OBS up, but go ahead and close OBS up, open it up again and click on preview stream and you'll see that it now works. Now, if that didn't work, go ahead, try again, make sure everything is selected and it should work. And then you can go ahead and record. Obviously, you need to make sure that your monitor capture, whatever, all your settings are, are, are set in there so that you can capture so that you can capture it. If you don't know what settings to use, this won't be a video for that. You can go ahead and search on Google or YouTube. There's so many, so many videos there on uh, the, the, the best settings for recording your gameplay or your monitor. Now, speaking of gameplay, this actually won't be a practical way of recording your gameplay footage because you're on your selected integrated video. Now, you don't want to use integrated to, you don't want to use integrated to record your video because then that'll completely decrease your FPS that you're getting within the game and it'll completely lag your game up. So what you want to do, what you want to do for this, for, for capturing gameplay uh, footage is what you want to do is first off, you would make a new profile. So I can't do that right now, but either make a new profile or if you can't do, if you can't create a new profile, then I'll just follow this right here. So let me just delete this, this one right here. So you don't get confused. So go ahead and right click within this window, within the sources window, click on add, then click on game capture. So once you have game ca capture selected, you want to type in the name of the game that you're going to be recording. So let's say day of defeat source. So I'm going to be doing that for an example. And I'm going to open up the game so that the application is, is in here already. Now I already have the game opened up, but what you want to do is you want to open up the game so that an alt tab to your windows. So alt tab to your windows. Once you have the game opened up and go ahead and select on the application. Now, if you don't see it, go ahead and click refresh and you should see it there. You should see the game. I, again, I already have my game opened up. That's Half-Life 2 Day of Defeat Source, which is an add-on to Half-Life 2. I'm going to go ahead and click, uh, select it. Make sure that the capture mouse cursor is selected too, I guess. So now once that's selected, click OK. 
Okay, so now that we have that selected, go ahead and unselect the monitor capture and make sure the the game capture is on. So in my case, I'm playing Day of Defeat Source. So I'm going to have that checked. Monitor capture, you can go ahead and uncheck or check. It's up to you, whatever you want. So now go ahead into settings. Now within settings, click on settings. On the side here, on the side tab, left side, click on video. And we're going to change this back to dedicated video. So right now it's on the Intel RHD graphics, which is the integrated video. We want to change it to dedicated video for the for the best FPS, for the best performance, best recording. And um, we're going to click on the dedicated video. So in my case, that's the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 960M. I'm going to go ahead and click on that, click on apply, and then OK. Now, I don't want to mess this recording up, so I'm not going to go ahead and click on apply and OK. But go ahead and click on apply, OK, close that up. Once that's done, we're now going to go into the NVIDIA control panel and change it through there as well. So go ahead into the NVIDIA control panel, uh, open NVIDIA control panel. If you, if you guys just saw, if you can't get to it, go to click on the start menu and type in, type in NVIDIA. And then it should, um, it should show up NVIDIA control panel. Once you're in there, we're, we're going to go ahead and click on program setting. Okay, so once we're in there, make sure you're in program settings. Make sure you selected open broadcaster source uh, software, sorry open broadcaster software. Underneath that, make sure you have high performance NVIDIA processor or whichever video card that you're using. Make sure that you're you're using the dedicated and not the integrated. You don't want to use integrated for recording your gameplay. You want to use high performance, your high performance dedicated video card. And in my case, that is the NVIDIA processor. It's this one. So go ahead and click on that. Click on apply then close that up. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to do that because I am recording. So go ahead and close that up. I'm Again, I'm recording, so I'm going to click on no because I don't want the changes to take effect. Now, once that's done, what you want to do next is close OBS because you need the settings to take effect. So close OBS. I'm not going to close it. You guys know why. Close OBS. Open it up again. Once you opened it up again, go ahead and check the game source that you added before that we added previously so go ahead and check on that and now when i go ahead and alt tab or when i go into my game you guys will see that is now recording so i'm going to head on into my game now and you guys will see that it will record it will be recording the screen right here so now you have the maximum amount of frames per second in with your recording so it won't slow down your game and you're basically recording with your dedicated video graphics card so guys, that is going to be it for this video. If you did find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you did have any questions or are you confused about something in this, in this video, leave a comment in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and until next time, catch you guys on the flip side.